Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Chicago, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Duluth, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. Let me just ask a follow-up, sir, and then we'll move on to other questions here. Uh, Some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket as a DEI hire. So now I have to stop it there because these are the people who push DEI. Diversity, equity, and inclusivity. Is that what that stands for, correct? So why would you now be upset that it worked? Either you support DEI or you don't. Why do you look at DEI as, she's the one framing it as an, of course Kamala Harris is in DEI. So are you saying people who are DEI are less than? You're the one. She's the one actually saying that they don't even she doesn't even really realize that she's undermining her own position of DEI. Am I wrong about that, Ian? No, that's the thing about all these like woke ideologies and identity politics is they inevitably are self like self undermining. And they it's like lying. It's like you inevitably will eventually get tied up in lies that are conflicting with your other lies because none of it is reality and none of it makes sense. And Biden himself on the White House, like official White House website, back when Kamala was chosen as the vice president, at the very first paragraph, it said she has all these strengths, not the least of which being that she's the first black and Indian like vice president or whatever it was. is like directly on the website in the very first paragraph about why she's qualified and a great pick for vice president. And when Joe Biden picked, said he was going to pick his Supreme Court justice, he said it has to be a black woman. That's a DEI pick. And so you guys are, are so now is she it sounds sounds to me like that black journalist is denigrating DEI hires. That's what I thought and we right should be celebrating it. That's what I thought right wingers do. So she doesn't even realize as you said Ian, she's undermining her own position which is to be pro DEI. But Trump I think actually Trump handles it. Let's watch. Let me let me back it up just a little. <laughs> is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define diversity, it? equity, inclusion? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me is a, that, that give, is give literally me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? So he's trying he's trying to get her to say What does that mean? When you hire somebody DEI, what does that mean? You mean you're hiring somebody on their race or their their or their sec or their gender. You're not hiring them on their qualifications. That she won't say that. She just keeps saying DEI. So but that's what he's trying to get her to say. She won't say it. So here we go. Sir, I'm asking you a question, a very direct question. Define the Define it for me, if you I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way. And then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she I think she somebody a- should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a di- so again, Trump is landing with that crowd because... I happen to know that there are lots of black people who feel that way, that all of a sudden when it became expedient for her to be black, she was black. And he says black in a funny way, black. However, it's funny. (laughs) And there there's lots of people in that crowd who are with Donald Trump on this again. And they know that she played up when it was Indian. She was. When when she was elected senator, she was the she wasn't the first black Indian senator. She was the first Indian senator. Yep. So that's what, what she played up. That so and and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, and 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 that woman is denigrating DEI hires. Yep. How but the crowd he, is wise to it, and I mean, the crowd is not dumb. 
They like they, that's the funny thing about Democrats. That's that they right. They treat black people like they're dumb. Like you're not smart enough to get a voter ID. Like you can't get an ID. So it would be racist to have voter ID. Like, are you kidding me? Like they they know what it's like to get pandered to because they get pandered to every four years and then thrown by the wayside for the next four years. It's like it's so ridiculous. And so when they're clearly being pandered to, no no shit, they're going to side with the guy that's just treating them like humans and calling out what's in front of everyone's face. Here, let's play. Let's watch the rest. That question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire? As I, some I really don't know. Said. I mean, I really don't know. Could be. Could be. There are some and there are uh, plenty. I know this lady. What he should have said was what would be wrong with that? Yeah. What would be wrong? I thought you support DEI hires. So are you saying that we shouldn't do DEI? That's what he should have said. What would be wrong with that? But but he, he did a good job. He didn't do a great job. But she's doing a horrible job. And over there, Harris is a fantastic. So I just want to remind people, uh, this is from the AP. When she got sworn in as senator, Indian American members of Congress sworn in. Not African American, Indian American. Indian, that's what the AP said. Yeah. That was seven years ago. I think the important thing to highlight, too, is that she was raised by her Indian mom. Her black dad, her Jamaican dad, Has was not in her. her life at all. Like, not at all. Ever since, like, basically she was an infant. That's and, right. And that's fine. You know, that's nothing wrong with that. You can grow up that way. That's cool. And, yeah, genetically, she is still half Jamaican or whatever that's... I mean, there's slave owners up there. But anyways, but the, the thing is that now she's, like pretend she's like speaking ebonics when she speaks to black people that's only. right and she's like trying to like pretend like she grew up on black music and like having megan the stallion at her rally to get more credit she's just so obviously pandering to black people in a like really cringy way when she didn't grow up in that culture and that's like you don't need to pretend that you did unless you need the votes well, additionally she she lived in canada and she she her teenage he, years were in canada yeah. yes her yeah. formative years were in canada but kamala harris becomes first indian american u.s senator that's there it is 2016 no, november 9th 2016 yep. so and she didn't get upset and go no I, i'm i'm black and but i i will i do know this kamala harris uh is full of shit, but she does identify as honest. Okay. <laughs> and here, I'll yeah. just give you this. Here's from Vox. This is from February 5th, 2019. The First Step Act explained. The measure which Trump signed into law is the most significant criminal justice reform legislation in years. Essentially, the law allows thousands of people to earn an earlier release from prison and could cut many more prison sentences in the future. That's what that's his legacy. The exact opposite is Kamala Harris's and Joe Biden's. The exact opposite. And I'm black people Vox reported on that. That's cool. And Good black you, people know this. But even Vox knows this for F's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean no no wonder why those Democrats are so upset with Donald Trump. They wanted to keep people, those black people locked up forever for the slave labor, which is why Kamala Harris got reprimanded twice by a federal judge in the state of California ordered to release prisoners, and she wouldn't. And when her office argued in front of that judge, why haven't you released the prison prisoners that we ordered you to release? Her office argued that we couldn't do it because it would upset the prison labor system. I, yep. I, to me, that sounds like slavery. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that the prison labor system is used by all the big corporations in our country, like McDonald's, Starbucks, cell phone companies, like the donor class, the oligarchs, they get basically free labor. They pay like a, a nickel an hour or something like that to most of them from thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of mostly black people. That's In some right. senses, it might even be worse than some slavery. So now they're going to ask him about, uh, they're going to try and make him seem foolish about uh, his assertion that immigrants threaten black jobs or jobs that are held by black people. He says black jobs, when of course we all know what he means, which is jobs held by black people. But they try to make it, in, they try to get it into a, 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 a semantic gotcha. 
Here we go. Question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire? As some I, I really don't have know. Said. I mean, I really don't know. Could be. Could be. There are some and there are uh, plenty. I know this lady right over there, Harris, is a fantastic person who just interviewed me at length. <laughs> And we had a great interview, I think, and I heard you got very good ratings on that Well, interview. you told me it was the longest one of your life, so <laughs> we had a good discussion. Look, I, I want to talk about why you're here today. I mean, it is not lost on us how divided we are as a country. And as you were coming today, we really got to see that we were divided along the lines of race, along the lines of gender. And there is this question of, in this moment where we are, why come here? What is your message today? My message is to stop people from invading our country that are taking, frankly, a lot of problems with it. But one of the big problems, and a lot of the journalists in this room I know and I have great respect for, a lot of the journalists in this room are black. I will tell you <laughs> that coming, coming from the border are millions and millions of people that happen to be taking black jobs. You had the best. What exactly is a black job, sir? A black job is anybody that has a job. That's what it is, anybody that has a job. All right. And Mr. they're, taking, President, they're taking the employment away from black people. They're coming in and they're coming in, they're invading. It's an invasion of millions of people, probably 15, 16, 17 million people. I have a feeling it's much more than that. And, and everybody's been seeing what's happened. The first group of people, the black population, is affected most by that, and Kamala is allowing it to happen. She's the border czar. She's the worst border czar in the history of the world. There's never been a border czar like this. She's never even essentially been. She said she was there once, but not the right part of the border. So she was a border czar. She's done a horrible job. These people are coming into our country, and they're taking black jobs and Hispanic jobs, and frankly, they're taking union jobs. Unions are being very badly affected by all of the millions of people that are pouring into our country. And one thing, as we, as we discussed, mm -hmm. many of these people are coming in from mental institutions, from prisons, from jails, they're gang members in other countries. Other countries are setting loose their prisoners, they're opening up their prisons and their mental institutions, and they're taking their, their bad people, uh, drug dealers, uh, gang members, and they're bringing them into the United States. All and right. by the way, their crime rate is going down and our crime rate is going to be a disaster. Mr. President, I, I want to get into. Um, I think that was a good answer. Uh, that a lot of people have been trying to uh, distract from what he actually said, the substance of what he said. And they're trying to uh, make it like uh, that. He what there's a something that's called a black job. Yeah, that's a that's why I saw a, a video of two surgeons saying we're, we're black and we have a black. So they're trying to again distract from the co the uh, the substance of what he was saying, and the, the substance of what he is saying is that black people. What? Why do you think he has twenty two percent of the black vote? They're, well, because a lot of black people, especially black men, see immigrants as a threat to their employment. In fact, this is from the Pew Research Center. More blacks than whites say they or a family member have lost a job or not gotten hired because an employer hired an immigrant worker. Blacks are also more likely than whites to feel that immigrants take jobs away from American citizens rather than take jobs that Americans don't want. For blacks, the growing presence of immigrant workers adds to the formidable obstacles they face in, a fi in finding a job. So that's a fact. And so what Trump was saying right then is actually landing with people in the audience because they know this because they know black people. They also know other black workers, and they also might remember that Barack Obama had his civil rights commission look into this. This is from Amuse on X. He says Obama's commission concluded illegal immigration reduces black employment and wages. The U.S. Commission on Civil Rights report titled The Impact of Illegal Immigration on Wages and Employment Opportunities of Black Workers concluded that illegal immigration adverse, adversely affects black workers economically. The report indicates that illegal immigration leads to a loss of job opportunities and wage depression for black workers. The experts briefing the commission in April of 2008 
pointed out both economic and non-economic factors contributing to these negative impacts, such as increased competition for low-wage jobs. And there it is, the impact, that's it, the impact of illegal immigration on wages and employment opportunities for black workers. So let me throw it to you, Ian. Uh, this didn't seem to, this actually seemed like a smart move for Trump to go there. Yeah. He's, he wasn't perfect by any means. He could have did better, but it certainly, I think, was a net positive for him. And the people are saying that he embarrassed himself or, or he, there, those are just partisan hacks. And lots of black people are saying the exact opposite. What do you say? I mean, I, you picked the perfect source to illustrate it. When Obama says it, it's totally fine. Yes. When Trump says it, it's racist. That's right. But realistically, like the people that are offended by that are the same people that are offended by things that are words but not truths. And, and I think more and more our world is getting filled with people that say there's no such thing as gender. There's like, I can't, there, you can't define what a woman is. But like everyone with a brain knows what a woman is. Like we, we know what that is. Like we know that black people and white people occupy different spaces in our world right now, whether that's right or wrong. It's just the truth. And like we all know that. And black people are not dumb. Black people know this. They've been living it their entire lives. And so to try to paint him as racist for something that black people know deep down in their bones to be true is just ridiculous. Uh, and the, you know, the hostility, he was correct that that woman was coming at him with made her look bad. It, yep. it didn't, it didn't make him look bad. That, that was like a tribunal. They were, she was not just assertive, but she was really kind of like dominatrix level aggressive. Now, fortunately for Donald Trump, he's no stranger to femdom hookers. And so it had no effect on him. <laughs> Here's a, here's a, here's another here's another black uh there's a guy Nick Cruz from the Revolutionary Blackout Network. He says Kamala Harris married her APAC babysitter and fights for Israel, not the black community. The only thing she did for the black community was lock innocent black men up for prison labor. Kamala Harris isn't a black woman, she's a Zionist. That's from Bingo. So that's what black people think about her and did they really think that was going to go over i mean this is that's called you're living in a bubble and even in that bubble of the national association of black journalists it didn't go over for them here's here, here's another one here's a a tiktoker uh and she says uh democrats ain't never cared about us and they still don't but y'all keep falling for this goddamn trap do you think Kamala Harris is a DEI hire? F yes. She's a DEI hire. She's a DEI hire. She was hired because she was a woman and because she was a woman of color. I give kudos to Trump for even going into this BS because I wouldn't have sent uh, went nowhere near it. I would have went nowhere near it, period. Here's another black woman. Happy Freedom Patriots, it's Rich Love America. Trump decided to spend his afternoon at the National Association for Black Journalism today, aka the Lion's Den. At a time when black men are leaving the Democrat Party in droves, this is the best journalism that you black women had to offer, embodying what people assume black women are combative, aggressive, accusatory. That was not a debate. That was supposed to be an interview. You are talking to the former and future president of the United States of America. He didn't even have to show up. He could have been like, no, Kamala's not gonna be there. It's not worth my time. I'm not gonna go. But not only did he go, he waited 30 minutes. How long did y'all know that this event was gonna happen? And y'all don't have your stuff together? Was y'all on color people time? Unprofessional <laughs> hoes. Hoes for Harris. He thought enough of his voters to still go to this event. Trump showed up like, what you got for me? I'm ready. Ah. <sighs> so I'll just leave it at that. Um, if you have, you have anything to, to add to that, Ian? I mean, it just sounds a lot like common sense. It's crazy. It's like once you leave the bubble of the democratic like group think and you stop being surrounded by just democratic group thinkers, suddenly it's like, oh yeah, common sense. You're allowed to just look at the world with your eyeballs and believe what your eyeballs tell you is true.
Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Chicago, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Duluth, Georgia, right outside of Atlanta, Jacksonville, Florida, Tempe, Arizona, and Burbank, California. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. (laughs) 